Okay, so this is the first in my series of um, how to or Minecraft modding, pretty much. So uh, what we're doing now is the setup of Forge, and then uh, next video will be the um, the actual modding. But right now it's just setting up. So once you install Eclipse, which is, I think you just unzip it, you're gonna download the Minecraft Coder Pack and um, Minecraft Forge uh, Source. So just those two things you need. I'll move this to the side here, okay? Just those two things you need. So I'm gonna make a new folder. I'll move this so we can see. Make a new folder here. There we go. Let's put that to the corner. I'll name that. And then um, let me move this to the top. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So basically, what you do, you're gonna get the Minecraft Core Pack. You, uh, if you have WinRAR or 7-Zip, you can just either right-click and then click on the go down so you can see. Click Open With, and then uh, click Renoir, and then uh, or seven. But I have it as the default opener already, so I just click, uh, I just double click it. There we go. And as you see, there's loads of files, tons. Of them. There we go. So let's minimize that. So what you do, just drag for either either one of them. Just highlight all of them, like that, and then just drag into it, and drag into the folder you want. So as you see now. There is all your files in there. There you go. So okay. Now next, it's pretty easy. What you want to do is get your Minecraft uh, source, Minecraft Forge source, which is the other file, and then just drag it, put it in here. It takes a while. There's a lot. There we go. Uh, there's a lot in there. So. So, as you see, you got Forge in here now, and it just says that. Now, what you want to do, uh, make, make a new folder, call it lib, just like that. <laughs> and then, um, well, you don't really need to do this, but because it will automatically install it, uh, I already have it, so I don't want to waste time installing it. So, let me just get to lib. So if you download it, it can come. It will come out as FML Libs Dev. Just double click it again and drag all of them into the lib. There we go. Then one last thing, you go to jars. Go to jars and see it is right here. You have these two things in there already. What you want to do? Go to your Minecraft uh, folder. You might want to get a. You probably you will want to get a fresh Minecraft backup. Uh, Minecraft uh, dot jars. I already have one, so I'm gonna put it in. Uh, that's not it. Minecraft mods uh, fresh. Where's 1.4.7 backup files? There we go. So what you do? You just drag your Minecraft server into here. Not There we go. Just put it in there. Then go to your Minecraft folder. Once my rocket dock will start working. Hold on. My rocket dock isn't working. I'll just use the run. And get your resources right here. And just drag it in. Your resources and uh, bin. So hold control and click bin. And just drag it in here. Not move. Copy and paste. So it's going to copy it into there. It takes a little while. There's loads of files and stuff. So once it's done, there we go. You should have these two in here. Now what you want to do? Clear out your. Are you? If you have the bin already in there, you can just delete. Uh, if you have these two in here in the same folder, you just delete them. You don't need that. There we go. So it's just like this. But as you see, this is not a fresh one, so I'm going to delete that. And then put a fresh one in. So Minecraft mods, 4.7, backup, client. There we go. Copy, paste. There you go. So you got your Minecraft in there. Don't put it, Don't put your server in the same file. That would be different. 
So it's going to be server, server, and dot dat in here. Your resources and uh, music stuff is in there. And then the rest of the files in bin. Then the last thing is just to click. Um, you might want to clean up. If not, uh, you probably don't You don't need to. But if you do want to, you can. And then, um, actually I don't think you can. Because you will delete this. So then you have to do it all again. Then what you do, go into your forge. You're in your main thing. Your main folder. And just double click it. What is this? Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I think all my uh, so-called fresh jars was uh, actually modded already, so that's why it didn't work. But as you've seen, I think it might actually be opened already. Let's see. Okay, it already did it. So what we're gonna do? Uh, this house gonna look after you complete all the steps, but let's clean it up. It's gonna pop up like this. Just reset it to the when you first uh, put all the files in, so it's gonna be like new. Except that there's all, there's the, all the jars, all the jars is gonna be in there already. So it's, you know, a little bit all that is in there already. So now you click forge and you just click uh, install. So let's move this. As you've seen, all this will come up, and this is gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, maybe five if you have an extremely fast computer. But uh, yeah, so it really depends on how fast your computer is and how much memory and all that it has. Um, but yeah, so I'll come back when it's uh, all done. And I'm all done doing this. Okay, so it's done. Uh, it was done in 45 seconds, 24 seconds. After all this. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to look through that. <laughs> so yeah, it's all done. You need to press any key to close it. And then let's go into Eclipse, which you should have already. Now, once you do get it, this is how it's going to look. Once you, uh, when you do get it, it's going to be on the welcome screen. I forget how to get back onto there. But, um. Okay. I forget how you get on the welcome screen. But yeah, so what you do is going to say welcome. I think it's going to let you go into all these toolbars. What you do is you click and move it up a little bit. You click file and then switch, switch, switch workspace and you click other right there on the bottom. And then you go to where your thing is, where you did all your extracting. Let's go to our desktop. Where's your desktop? New folder. Where is it? There it is. And then you click Eclipse. Open it up. And then you just click, oh I forgot, you don't open it up, you just click this. Like that. And then you click uh, OK. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look like it's closing. But it's not really. It's going to turn back on as you see. And boom. There you go. A blank screen with your Minecraft all decompiled. As you can, you can now edit whatever you want. Boom. But yeah, so this is what you'll be working with pretty soon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, next video will be how to actually make a new block. Pretty exciting. But yeah, hope you enjoyed.